So good morning, uh, my name is Stefan Fullon and we are in southeast of Spain hunting the great Bethete Ibex. Um, right now, um, as you see in my back, it's super foggy, um, but we really hope it will clear up and we get a good sight picture uh, of those beautiful animals. So, after hours and hours of driving, the fog kindly disappeared and we can see now. Uh, so, uh, we will pack our stuff now and then head um, into the wild and see if we find any ibex for us. Finally, we found the first ibex, a group of six young males, but uh, none of them were shootable. It was a great sight though, and we had some fun just uh, watching them. And two young ones, the biggest ones of the group, they already started fighting. Um, I'm using the Merkel K5. It's a single shot drop barrel rifle, and it's basically made for adv adventures like this, because it's very lightweight. Um, and it's very precise. Um, I got a Leica scope um, on top, the Fortis uh, 6 2 uh, to 12 by 50, so you don't want it too big of a diameter. Um, so 50 or like 50 scopes are very good for that, even 42 is good. Uh, caliber is um, at the 7 millimeter, uh, 7 by 65 rimmed, rimmed because it has this rim here. And um, it's basically similar performance wise to the 30 odd 6. So we crossed basically the whole river valley, scanning the area to our left and right, looking for ibex, but uh, we couldn't find any. So we will change the area now and see if we have more luck over there. So there's nothing we can do right now and 
just sit here and scout and the biggest problem will be the light because we will have probably like 40 minutes of daylight left. So end of day one, it was a beautiful day. The landscape is absolutely amazing. We didn't see any big male. Uh, we only saw young males and a lot of females. But tomorrow is another day and we have a couple of days left. So let's see. So a new day, new hunt guys. Uh, we changed the area and drove two and a half hours uh, down south uh, to hunt for ibex again. Uh, but we also have a specialty. Uh, we also will hunt and look for audat or Burberry sheep. Uh, so what we will do now is we arrived at the mountain and we will uh, sit down and glass up the hills and see if we can find any animals.
decided to pack our stuff now. Our guide was pretty sure that they were crossing this hill, but they didn't. And uh, we're losing time right now. Uh, at the beginning of the day, when we were spotting three groups up here, um, separate from each other, um, I thought this would be an easy one. I mean, uh, definitely wasn't easy to go up here, but I thought we at least, at least see game, right? But um, since two and a half hours, no movement within these hills. We'll see. Good morning guys, day three um, on our hunt for ibex and barberry sheep. Um, we are at the same location um, and you probably saw yesterday that the climb and the um, going down was very tough. Uh, Lewis unfortunately hurt himself going down. It was a super tough climb and I slipped uh, myself three times. So we really have to be careful and um, we are really focusing on getting the barberry sheep today. The guy told us that they have a huge uh, Besete um, Ibex uh, located. Uh, we also have um, more help today. Uh, three spotters are staying down on the ground, helping us spotting the animals and maybe uh, try to locate us and get us um, within shooting distance. So, all the luck. Arriba a la izquierda ha salido, se ve. ¿Dónde estaban las hembras? Grande. 
macho to where where the females were to to the left and a little bit it's big very big Fuck, no. yes! Yes, Stefan, yes! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you shoot him, you got him. <sighs> All right, so I just shot a giant Ibex. We were spotting him, everything started right there, right? And I had the idea to move further to the right because he was following a female in, a, his, in her cup. So we decided to go here and we started glassing this hillside. And all of a sudden, we saw him um, and some other uh, a group, a group of four as well, small ones and a lot of females. But he was straight following the female and his, her cup. And so then we had one chance, basically, um, where the females was looking at us. But he was standing there for like 30 minutes at least. I couldn't get a good position for shooting because it was so steep. I digged, like, look at my hands, like, I digged myself into the ground because I tried to get my elbow down, otherwise, like, to get to, to manage the recoil, right, so it won't hit the face. Um, so, and then, all of a sudden, he moved, and I was like, oh my fucking God. So, he moved to the left, then we couldn't see the females anymore. And then we were glassing again, glassing again, and it, it got late, 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 and later, and then, and all of a sudden, uh, our guide, he spotted him again and be like, it's over there, it's over there. And I was like, damn, how in the world am I supposed to get a shot from that distance? <clears throat> so I decided to move uh, against the odds, basically, and went down. So I went down, I saw this tree here. And he was standing there like the king of the hill, like presenting his chest. And I, I had a small angle and then I finally managed to get a good um, position with the rifle and my heart was beating. I was looking through the scope, it's a 12 powered scope and every heartbeat it basically jumped two times higher than he actually was. And then all of a sudden I like took a deep breath and, and then I just controlled on squeezing the trigger. Like that's like everything I thought about, like getting up the pressure, getting up the pressure and then poof, the shot came. And um, I couldn't see it. The recoil was pretty, like took took off my side picture. And then I heard the guys were like, "Yeah, yeah, you hit him!" And I couldn't believe it. And I mean, what we did to come here, we we really earned this, I guess. I mean, you cannot say you earned to to harvest an MMO, but we really tried everything we could. We are on top of that mountain. Everything you saw from below, we really worked our way up here. Everyone fell in between. Um, thank God we had the equipment and everything at the end worked out. Um, and I think that was one of, or not, if the, definitely was the best hunt of my life. We worked so hard to get this Ibex down. Unbelievable. We harvested a, a, a old male and um, so the young ones can live and they they are here to reproduce and uh, we harvest the king of that mountain and I'm super happy.
I cannot believe it. We just stumbled across him. Unbelievable. Like, how crazy is that? Like, he could have been everywhere. And, oh my fucking God. Unbelievable. Very, very good. That is so awesome. Easy, easy. Oh. You okay? Yeah. So what an amazing result. Uh, we're looking back at four really, really uh, demanding days here in Spain. Uh, when we started, basically if I'm looking back at the trip then um, it started easy for us and it got harder every day. Uh, our first day was more of a, um, in the southeast, was more of a canyon stalk. Uh, we drove to the spot where uh, we went stalking and from there it was just went down but we were I didn't have the feeling that I was completely out in the wild uh, and then we moved to the spot where the Burberry sheep um, live and uh, one of those places is this giant mountain here and on our first day we saw so many our Dutch sheep but we couldn't get a hold of them. I think that the mountain tested us. I truly believe that because it got harder every day and we pushed our limits every day a little bit further more. So look, we are so high. It's not that we drove up to some position like this. We really start started our journey every day from the bottom. And we went to the peak of the mountain to harvest the king of the mountain and he was definitely king here in his territory and I couldn't be any any happier that uh, everything went the way it go the, the way it went because I mean the plan was to harvest an old animal that we really had to earn and that's what we did and the way we stumbled across him is uh, well a story for another movie I guess uh, it was absolutely amazing equipment uh, was like we expected it to be like top-notch really the k5 uh, did its job lightweight we had to carry the rifle all the way up and um, you feel every ounce in your legs after four days and so very precise shot the animal didn't have to suffer at all right into the kill zone, I penetrated his lungs. So everything went absolutely perfect.